my beautiful lovelies. Sometimes you gotta change things up a little bit. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another military ration tasting. Today, I'm going to be tasting this. And this is an Arctic field ration, and it hails from Norway. And this ration, along with this ration, were sent to me by Alexander. Alexander, thank you so much for sending these to me. This is the fruit muesli. It's for breakfast. I'll be tasting this in another video. Alexander, thank you so much for sending these to me. He, too, also has a YouTube channel. I'll put the link down in the description. Let's continue with the ration tasting while my light flickers in my face. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Really? Stop it! Oh, come on, let's not do this the whole time. Just, you know, please. It's like an unruly child, except it doesn't listen. <sighs> so this ration was developed by Drytech in cooperation with the Norwegian Armed Forces. And it is a very, very compact ration and pretty lightweight. Definitely lighter than a US MRE, and I would say almost half the size of a US MRE as well. I'm imagining because this is an Arctic field ration that there's probably very little water in here, if any water at all, because at cold temperatures, water freezes and makes things difficult to eat. Everything that's contained in this ration is translated into three languages, Norwegian, English, and French. Pork, sweet and sour. There's some soy in there in case you have some kind of soy allergy. Cinnamon bun or pizza? I hope I got the pizza. It contains gluten, milk, or soy. Again, for those that have allergies, love that. Dark chocolate, an energy bar, an energy drink, chewing gum, coffee, a vitamin tablet, disinfection swab, spoon, and Ziploc bag. Great. Alexander said from his understanding, a soldier is issued two of these a day. And this one looks like it's going to be either the lunch or kind of dinner. So the net weight of this is 341 grams. A kilo is a thousand grams, which is about two pounds. So this is less than one pound. Very, very lightweight and very compact. Like that so far. So if you've missed my other ration tastings, I'll put the playlist there and there so you can check them out. I've had many, many, many of them, but this will be my first Norwegian ration. So let's go ahead and get started. Open here and reuse label to seal pouch. And very convenient that everything is in English. So I'll lift up these corners here. Oh, I love this. Use this label to seal pouch. Enjoy your meal and carry on. Brilliant. There's some advice here. Stay focused and avoid fatigue. Your body is your most important tool and it will not work without proper nutrition. So this ration conforms to NATO standards as a special purpose ration, as well as guidance given by the Norwegian Institute of Public Health to support your energy requirements during ops. The rations are available in two different sizes. Oh, so there's a 1300 field ration, your standard everyday ration, and there's an the Arctic field ration 2000 for those heavy duty days. Peel this one back too open it oh no so this doesn't come off nice very neat and tidy in here energy bar brownie a real on-the-go dark chocolate bar multivitamin chewing gum Colombian freeze-dried coffee this is a disinfecting swab here is the main entree. This is the full meal, the pork sweet and sour. Looks like it might contain some rice. A spoon. Bridgeford cinnamon bun. Rats, I really wanted the pizza. Oh well. And this is the on the go energy drink. A taste of peach. A clear Ziploc bag for whatever you want to use it for. So there's a kind of branding theme that's going on here with the real on the go. Red, green, yellow orange pretty simplified but it covers all the bases and again i really like how compact everything is it just fits in this little square to reseal this i would fold this over like that let's make sure our hands are clean i'm going to use the disinfecting swab looks like the main bacterial killing agent in here is the ethanol perhaps the chlorhexidine might have some killing properties as well although it's in much smaller quantity all right it says it's very flammable Oh yeah, it smells like rubbing alcohol. And here's your typical wipe, very wet. And that same kind of paper. Oh, and it's, yeah, you can definitely feel the ethanol. It's very cold and it's already evaporating. All right, so kill all the germies. 
Let's go ahead and cook our main entree, and this is the full meal, real field meal. And it says add water that's 70 to 100 degrees C, which is pretty close to boiling, for eight minutes and enjoy. And it didn't say how many milliliters to add, but then when I looked at this package closer, it has a fill line on the outside. I had another cold weather ration tasting. It was my Swedish cold ration tasting. That was a 24 hour ration, lots of packs of food in that. And that too had fill lines for boiling water. And I found it was a little bit tricky to get the right amount of water. Hopefully this one will be a little bit clearer. So we're gonna just open it up here. Ooh, look at that. And there's our freeze dried contents. Hmm, comes a little bit tomato-y, and this looks like it has some rice in it, along with the pork. I like that it's freestanding, it stands easily, so I don't have to worry about it tipping over when I add my hot water. And so the fill line is right there, it's about halfway. It's kind of hard to judge where that water line is, since we're doing it from the outside. Pretty sturdy spoon. Kind of like the same plastic as a party spoon, but a little bit longer. All right, give that a little bit of a stir. Zip this up. We're gonna let that sit for eight minutes. So while that's cooking, let's make our beverage. And this is the energy drink with the taste of peach. <laughs> this one says specifically to add 300 milliliters of water, but on this side, it also has a fill line right there. So I'm gonna test this fill line measurement. I'm going to precisely add 300 milliliters of water and see how close it gets to this actual fill line. So unzip this. Mm, it smells a lot of peach. Sadly, this one does not stand up. Maybe this one gives you the option of pouring it into your canteen, although this bag is large enough to actually contain the water itself. Here's 200. Add another 100. The fill line is right where my thumb is, right there. And if I look at, yeah, it actually is. It actually works pretty well. It's right at the fill line. So I'm gonna zip that up and make sure it's zipped tightly before I shake it because I've had spills before. <laughs> shake it up. It smells very peachy. It smells like a peach scratch and sniff snicker. Mm. <laughs> Here we go, cheers. It's not bad. It's lightly sweetened. It definitely has the viscosity of an electric light drink, kind of like Gatorade. It's got a little bit of thickness to it. It's pretty sweet, but not as sweet as say something like a Kool-Aid. It definitely is more like an electrolyte drink. The peach flavor is pretty strong and tastes pretty artificial, but it's actually not too bad. Mm. Next, let's taste our cinnamon bun. I was really hoping that this would be pizza. And this looks just like the Bridgeford snacks that we have in the USMREs. Doesn't look too much like a typical cinnamon roll. Little pieces of cinnamon flavor in there. Let me grab my knife so you can see what it looks like inside. This is more of a turnover. And there's the cinnamon filling. And it's kind of like a pastry. So immediately you smell the cinnamon and it smells just like those hostess little crumb cakes, those cinnamony coffee cakes. It smells exactly like that. All right, let's give that a go. And it tastes a lot like those too. A little bit less sweet, but very cinnamony. The texture is very different. This is much denser and a little bit chewy. They are pretty moist and soft. They're just not very fluffy. A little bit doughy and sticky in texture. And actually there's a good amount of salt in there too. Not exactly delicious, but it definitely will satisfy your sweet craving. All right, so now that I've had that, I'm gonna make a cup of coffee because that probably will be a lot better with a cup of coffee. Polder Mill, Colombian freeze-dried instant coffee. Looks like little tiny aquarium rocks <laughs> of coffee. Add some hot water to that. This ration did not include any creamer, any sugar. I like that no-nonsense-ness of this ration that dissolved immediately. There are no granules left whatsoever. Instant coffee. Tastes like instant coffee. There's just something comforting and kind of good about instant coffee, even though it does taste burnt. I think for me, it just has something to do with outdoor adventuring and camping. All right, let's try it with our little turnover. 
Mm. Much improved with a hot beverage. Mm -hmm. Now, because we always need more sweets, let's try this. And this is the energy bar in brownie form. It says it's sweet and tasty. There it is. Looks like it might have some puff cereal or puff rice in there. Looks a lot like a granola bar. Doesn't look so dense as say something like a cliff bar. Has a little bit of a bend to it, so it looks very fresh. It smells like Cocoa Krispies. Coffee. Mmm. That was actually drier than I expected it to be. While it is still very flexible and relatively soft, it is a pretty dry cereal bar. But it isn't so sweet for what it is. It is calling itself a brownie bar, but it's not nearly as sweet as a brownie bar, which I appreciate. Looks like there might be some oats in there as well, but there is crisp puffed rice cereal. So it has a nice crunch to it, but basically it's like a chewy granola bar, chocolate flavored and not too sweet. Let's see if our entree is ready. Yeah, I think it is. You can smell it a lot more now that it's cooked up. You can smell kind of a smoky meatiness to it. It's thickened very nicely and there's plenty of room in this bag to use this as the actual container to eat from. But I'm gonna pour it out so you guys can see what this looks like. It has kind of the consistency of like a jambalaya. Look at that. You can see that there are slices of meat. It almost looks like lunch meat. Makes sense for this type of ration because there's more surface area to absorb the water. Maybe some bell pepper there. Definitely smells of tomato. And there's rice in there as well. If the lucky moles. Hmm. I was expecting jambalaya, but this does not taste like jambalaya. It's definitely sweet and sour. Not sweet and sour pork, like Chinese American style that we would expect when we think of that in the US here. This is just sweet and sour and tomato saucy and more like a stew. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. And this cooked up really nicely. The rice is plumped up all the way. It's not undercooked. It's tender. The sauce is nice and thick and not too runny. And the meat has a nice chew to it. It's absorbed all the water, so it's more like ham. It's not crunchy or hard, but yeah, that's not too bad. And for dessert, let's have our chocolate bar. Chocolate bar, 60% cocoa, sounds good to me. And this is a full-size chocolate bar. And it has not bloomed at all, wonderful. A lot of rations contain chocolate. It's really good for morale and it just tastes good, but oftentimes they are bloomed, meaning it has kind of an ashy, kind of almost moldy look to it. It's not mold at all. It just means the temper of the chocolate was broken because the chocolate got to a temperature above, I believe it's 89 degrees, and then it's cooled down again. So the fats become destabilized. This has not happened, makes sense because this is from Norway. It probably doesn't get too hot there, so you don't have to worry about your chocolate blooming. And this is made by Brunberg chocolate. It smells great. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Delicious with coffee. I always love my chocolate with coffee, but it's really nice when you have that warm beverage to melt all that chocolate in your mouth. So that's a decent chocolate bar. It has a good amount of chocolate flavor to it. It is a little bit waxy. And let's check out the multivitamin in this pack. Yep, it looks like a prenatal vitamin. This pink color, it's kind of relatively large size. And it smells like a multivitamin too. It has that kind of metallic-y smell to it which I believe comes from a lot of those B vitamins. I'm not gonna bother to eat that because I can't really describe to you what it tastes like because I'd just be swallowing it, but there it is. This little tiny packet is a real chewing gum. Oh, two pieces. Let me take this so you can see it better. This looks a lot like xylitol gum. So this does contain xylitol, which is derived from birch trees and is very good for dental hygiene because it prevents bacterial growth on your teeth, which causes cavities. All right, let's give that a go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very fresh piece of gum. It has that little candy coating on the outside, but the gum base inside is still very soft and tender, full of spearmint flavor, just like double mint gum. Love it. 
So there you have it. That was the Norwegian Arctic Field Ration Pork Sweet and Sour Flavor. Alexander, thank you once again for sending this to me. Be sure to look for this one soon. This is the Arctic Field Ration Fruit Muesli. This is the breakfast entree. And yeah, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media so you know what videos are coming up next and what I do outside of making videos. And I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye.